and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods and we've got some new trailers awesome let's go to the mod hub and have a look in there so this is what we got today we got some more fruit trees placeable fruit trees it's time to start your own orchard which we had some of these on FS17 which we were pretty cool so a new farmer is 45 each then farm manager 30 and start from scratch 20 and hopefully that will probably be doubled if we have some manure and that's by gtx then we have the flee your flatbed semi-trailer now this pretty awesome mod auto load we just went through this on new uh, on mods and testing and it got released last night all this did but i didn't see it because i went to bed but never mind we'll do it get it sorted now but that's a nice trailer and this one did have an attacher on the back then we move on to the cutter adapter pack which enables you to manipulate your grain or corn cutters around your farm and that's by jason aka j rock and that one is by top ace triple eight then we have the Fleegor low loader. Now this came in the base game in FS15 and 17, this one. I forgot all about this one. And that's by Top Ace Triple Eight again. And we've got color configuration, chassis rims. I think that's how it was last time. We could definitely change the color anyway. Then we've got the RM235. Now that's an update because I'm sure we've already looked at that yeah we looked at that before so we're not bothering with that one then you've got an update on the NTA ITS Lemkin pack so they've added a couple more on there so we won't bother with that one so that's it just those four really and then you have got the new Holland 40 ER and I'm not sure what they've changed on that but there's a few changes on that one anyway uh, that is your lot for today right so first off we're starting out with the Fleegor low loader now this was the original bit of kit in FS15 and 17 for lugging stuff around and they revamped it and as you can see it's all bling we can do chrome the, the amount of different color options there's loads of color options loads of wheel options loads of every every different color now the red bit you can change that as well that's the design color and you can also change the Fleegor logos you can have red white or black changing your rims whether you've got chromes steels stainless there's loads there's loads 600 no rims aren't 600 rim colors change is a hundred pounds which is quite cheap main color 600 and also the design color which is the underneath the chassis bit that's 600 as well 17,000 pounds to buy and a bargain at 892 pounds for your initial leasing costs now the ramp there is absolutely perfect before it had a little bit of a kink in it but it's absolutely perfect and I haven't tried it out I've just got back quite late and I haven't tested any of these out so we're doing it all blind so hopefully everything's gonna be cool so let's I'm sure the other one didn't have straps I'm sure it didn't have straps the extra bit you can change I saw it in the shop it shows extension and it shows this you have a this bit on these sides here and it proved to be a bit of a pain in the ass and you can take that off and I did think it was going to be extensions on the side here because we know that some of the vehicles they are a bit wide and it would be nice if we had just a little bit that's all just a little bit there that would be fantastic but overall quality of it amazing I love my trucks and my trailers so this low loader I totally forgot about this one totally forgot it's because we had well I expected it to be in the game but it's not so it's here now so let's test it out and make sure it works I'm sure the straps aren't going to work on vehicles as it doesn't on anything apart from pallets and 
bales. But at least with that extension bit off the front there, you can, because it used to be problematic to get it up on the top there, and it would glitch out a little bit sometimes. So it wasn't the best, and it was like, well, it'd be nice if you could get up there, because then you can get something on the back, whereas before you could get to there. I can't remember if you could climb on it. No, I don't think it went up in the air. I'm sure it did. So anyhow, so we're sort of on there, and you see even with this vehicle, we need them a little bit wider. You want more than half the tyres on where that one is. Mm, not great. What are we looking like on the front? A little bit out there. That's not too bad. And stop it there. That'll do. Now, I know the straps aren't going to work. I know that. But I've got to try, haven't I? I should have brought up some pieces of wood and we could have put some pieces of wood but we're just going to see how stable it is to get it back to the shop so let's get that folded up and it is quite quick nice so we got our lights on the back and your reverse lights indicators and then i did think those were little side lights but they are oh, they are pretty cool love it so let's get this back to the farm because we've got the cutter adapter to have a look at not the farm the shop we're going to and we've also got the new flatbed trailers now they're an absolutely awesome bit of kit because they got a trailer attacher on the back of them absolutely amazing and the auto loading for bales and as you can see we have a lot of bales ready to go I have been busy prepping for this one I didn't want to buy them out of the shop because I've bought them a couple of times and had a few little problems and it's like well you don't buy bales out of the shop that much we get them off the fields so that's what I've done so we'll make our way and go and have a look at the other stuff but so far there's low loader has seemed to be pretty stable I'm quite surprised how look at that that is pretty good I expected that to come off whoa and I was surprising how much it still stayed on that's amazing so it is a little bit sticky which is what you want even if it's because before there used to be a nightmare the amount of hours I wasted messing around loading low loaders up and then it would all fall off and you're like what the but anyhow that is the low loader we'll go over here here is the standard one as it comes with red flegals on there and I think that was stainless yeah stainless wheels on there but loads of colors absolutely loads of colors proved to be quite stable I didn't notice the hoses did we have the hoses hooked up yep we did so let's have a look at this this is the telehandler to a cutter adapter and this will fit on the telehandler there's also one available for the wheel loader as well if you want to use that so you can pick up your headers and manoeuvre them around and do whatever you want with them. Now it costs £1,200 to buy and £61 for initial leasing costs. And it's minus four on the slot count. So you just bring it in and it's, it just attaches. Then you have got to select the mana to there you go like this one it is it is a bit big for it but it picks it up so if you need to maneuver it around you can do well yeah it could do with a weight on the back but that's glitched out I'm not going to use those weights until there's an update for them but easy as that which sometimes if you've got it left somewhere and that is isn't one I tend to use the headers with trailers built in anyway to 
make things a bit easier. There it is, Lizard Telehandler to Cutter Adapter. Cool. Something different, never seen that before. Right then. So moving on, we have our new trailers, flatbed trailers, auto load, auto load large tr semi trailers. Now I think it was 24 bales and 30, 36 square and I think 24 round. Now the round one comes with this back bit on and you can have the added attacher. That is an absolute mess. So road trains are back in FS19 console. We've got, well, we've, got, we've had a few before, but we're talking long road trains, not not small ones. So moving equipment now, I used to use these a lot for logging. We could just put the tractors and all the equipment on the back of them. The, um, it was a Black Sheep Modern trailers, and they were pretty awesome. So we have these new ones, and they, like I like them a lot. 28,000 pounds to buy, and 1,400 and 28 pounds initial leasing costs. Now that you can change all the colors on it, where you can have chromes and it's got the same as the other low loader basically. There's loads of different colors on it. The main color is 750 pounds to change on that. And then the design color, which is the chassis bit, that is the 500 quid. And then you've got the rim colors, which I think they're the yeah they're the creams on there they were 100 pounds oh no they might have actually been free there are tire we got lizards trail bogs and michelins they're the trail bogs and they look quite aggressive good off-road pattern on them nice size and then you have got the michelins which are pretty cool as well, heavy duties. And then there also are the Lizard. But you pay for the extra attacher. I think that was 700 quid extra for that if you want that on there. But it's like, well, why wouldn't you have it on there? Of course you're going to have it on there. But the main thing is these are big auto load. So I haven't tested any of these out. So we need to go and test them. So I'm going to go and hook up the truck and get them over the field and I will see you there momentarily. <laughs> Right, so we've got our trailers attached and I stupidly have done all this field with square bales forgetting about the round. So I've done some rain ones at the shop, I bought them. So we're gonna try out the square, make sure they're working all right. So I've got two square bale trailers. So let's go on to the options for it. Operating position, transporting position. Right, so at the moment, now for those who don't know, whatever is showing is the opposite of what it is. So it's in the operating position and now it's in the transporting position. So you want it transporting if you don't want to pick up bales. So how many bales and how quick is this going to work? Let's put that into the operating position and the same on the rear. And there's the first bell. Zoom out because there's quite a zoom on this truck. I wonder how far away we can be. Yeah, you've got to be quite close then. I was hoping we could uh, we could cheat that. Well, they all seem to be working, no problems. Well, apart from those ones, why didn't they pick those up? There we go. Right, I'm going to get on and load them up. 
and we'll see how stable they are with a couple of loads. Right, so that is it, full load. So we should be able to move them, yes. So you hold down the L1 button on PlayStation, this is, and then you can float it over. And the main thing is, oh, look at that, we can stack them high. Because the other one we got didn't like to stack things very high. So you might be able to get two, it looks like you will. You might give that a go, I think see if we can get two stacked on there so that is in the operating position and as soon as we put it into the transporting you see they all just jump straight on there and the same with that one so now our straps should work no no Where's the straps? I can't see it. There's one. No. They must be locked on then. Because we are in, yeah, we're in the transporting position and the other one is the transporting position. Ah, so you don't need straps. That's cool. They're all locked down. Well, all the straps don't work one or the other. So that's super quick as well. You get the right field, you can be flying along 50 mile an hour, picking up bales, easy. So let's go and try, stack them on top of each other. We stop that truck there, let's drop off the rear. And then we'll come round. Because we never had loaders that tall before. It'd be nice to see it with six bales, but I think it proves to be a bit unstable. So we go into the operating position and now we can float them up and float them across. So they used to do this before where it glitches in a little bit, but as soon as you release them, so we go unload bales, and I've done that wrong. Let's try again. Oh yeah, I did I bought unload bales here. And they've fallen through. Crazy. See this is what happens when you don't test stuff, you just do stuff and you go, oh see it would have done that and now the straps are working. So have we got double amount of straw on there so that is in the operating position at the moment let's just drop that one off I can't believe they disappeared that's a full trailer but I just want to see what it says for the amount we've got on there no it still says the same right so if we do this one now then operating position take the straps off oh they're still there so they are there still they just don't stack on top of each other yeah they just disappear into themselves that's a shame that's a little glitch then Never mind. But these awesome bit of kit, absolutely awesome. Picking up bales has never been faster and it would be nice if we could get a few more bales on there. 
but I don't think that's going to happen. Unload here. Whoa, they have. So it might have been they were down a little bit, but wow. So we can have a big stack. But the straps only work up to four. Yeah, and that's got a little bit heavier all of a sudden. And it doesn't show how much we've got there. It's not registered now. Oh, very strange. Right, let's go and move on to the next mod anyway, which is some fruit trees. So I'll see you there in a moment. I nearly forgot to test the round ones. So round ones, same crap. We we bought these. There's me preparation, preparing for it all, and then I just forget. Oh yeah, it's round and square. But never mind. Let's get these loaded. And this does take a lot. Can't remember what it said, and we need more. It's going to be more than two. And that's it, full load at 34. So, same thing again, we're in the operating position, so it means we can float them around. And these do go up, yeah, double stack. So you might be able to stack these on top of each other. Pretty sure you'll be able to. But they all seem to work. No problem. Let's see what happens if we release it into the trailer. Ah, and it pops back out. No problems. Nice mod. I'm impressed with that. Those trailers are a proper job. Right, so let's move on to the last and final one, which is two new trees, apple and orange trees. Now, I thought these were quite a bit of money because they're 10 grand. 10 grand! You're like, wow. Now, you put manure in it's going to double your money at the moment on easy they're generating 45 pounds an hour on normal it's 30 pounds an hour and on hard it's 20 pounds an hour per tree per apple or orange so it's filled up it takes manure levels thousand is no i put about three to, just over two thousand in there no it's two of them yeah so it is the thousand see that was just under but they're not going to generate anything until you put some water so where's my water bowser there's the tip for the water and then we move round to the apples and we should get a tip for that which i don't see why not there it is start overloading and water levels at 100 all good so we check our finances at the moment and i'm pretty sure they're yeah property income where's it gone property income there is on zero so let's fast forward time and there it is, we are generating £60 an hour per tree. So that all works, no problems with that whatsoever. Right, well that's your lot for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And don't forget to check out my mods in testing, which I will be uploading probably a couple of hours after this one tonight. And if you're new to the channel, why not go and check out my hundreds of other videos for Farming Simulator. Right, well that's your lot and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.